Hi there and welcome back to my channel, My Road to Wealth, where I give you tips and strategies to help you take control of your finances. In this video, I'm going to be going through the different types of savings accounts with some pros and some cons, but also um, the top accounts that are paying the best interest rates in the UK in 2023 at the minute, and hopefully a way that won't knock you out or put you to sleep. So make sure you stick around to the end of the video as I start off with some that uh, pay you less, but obviously make it easier to get a hold of your money with some that uh, like to hold on to your money, but uh, obviously they make it worth your while. Just as a note, I'm not a financial advisor, so if you're unsure, carry out your own research, consult a financial professional if you need to, who's obviously aware of your circumstances. And with that, if you like this kind of content where I help you manage your finances, um, where I go through some budgeting, some investing, and even property, please be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. But with that, Let's get started. So first thing I want to ask you is, do you actually know what your accounts pay you in terms of um, interest? What I'd ideally like you to do is try and find out. If you find out, you can see how it compares to some of the stuff in this video. I know as an example, one of my savings accounts um, pays uh, a measly 1.5%, which if you ask me, it's pretty damn poor. So just covering a little bit of the boring bit, the financial education bit of the um, of the channel. So we all know there's a cost of living crisis at the minute. We've all seen that five pound block of cheese. Um, so the way the government um, slows the prices of everything going up is to actually slow spending. The way to slow spending is to increase interest rates. So what that means is the cost to borrow money. So your mortgages, your loans, that goes up so people want to spend less. Obviously, in terms of interest rates, it also means that the banks will offer you more money um, for your money that you're keeping with them. So more people want to save because they can get more money by holding it, if that makes sense. This refers to monetary policy. So let's go through how it can benefit you. So the first type of account I'm going to cover is an easy access account. So an easy access account, the clue is in the name. So it makes it easy to um, withdraw money, deposit money um, when you want. They're some of the most flexible types of account. There is an instant access account, um, which is even more flexible than this, but it's not something I'm going to cover in the video um, just because it, you can't really call it a savings account as such. Um, the interest rates are very, very low. Um, so with that, um, obviously you have the benefit with an easy access account, they're very flexible. So you can, as I said, withdraw, deposit when you want. Um, a lot of the time as well, you do also get a card with them. They're very easy and straightforward. The next benefit is their low cost. So um, with a lot of them, it's quite a low starting fee with some even just being a pound to open an account. And also they're quite common. So because it's quite a thing that uh, a lot of people will have and want to use day to day, it's quite common across banks to offer them. Downside with them um, being variable interest rates. So with easy access accounts, as the Bank of England changes its rates, um, obviously a lot of banks will change and alter. Obviously they do notify you as to when changes will take place, but they do bring them up and down. It's just something to bear in mind. In first place, we have got CHIP. So with CHIP, it is an app only um, bank account, but they offer you a 3.82% interest rate on your money. This can be um, obtained with a minimum deposit of a pound. So an account can be opened with a pound. In second place, we've got Principality um, Building Society. I might have butchered that completely but um, they offer a 3.8% interest rate, um, but they only allow you to make two withdrawals a year. In third place, if you want something common, something you've heard of a bit more, we have Sainsbury's Bank. So they offer you a 3.6% interest rate um, and allow you to make three withdrawals a year. If you do make more than that, the rate drops to 1%, so it's something to keep on top of. Also with Sainsbury's Bank, they do also have a minimum starting balance of a thousand pound. There is one I didn't mention in this and that's Hanley Economic Building Society. So they actually offer the best interest rate. Um, so although I've placed chip in first, I'll explain why. 
but Hanley Building Society, they offer a 4.25% interest rate, but they are strictly branch or by post. A lot of people won't have a branch nearby, and I can't imagine with your withdrawals and your deposits, you'll want to deal with post. So if you've got one near you, that's great. That's something you can look at if you've got a branch nearby, but otherwise that's why I place chip at number one, because for a majority of people that will be there, um, that will be a really good bet for them. So the next type of account we're going to be covering is a regular savings account. So a regular savings account is one where you plan to make a regular contribution. So uh, usually it's on a monthly basis where you make a contribution every month effectively. Um, so the upside, the pros are you get higher interest rates um, because obviously there's an element of a certain amount of money going in every month. Um, yeah, again, they're able to offer higher rates on that type of account. Another benefit, it's quite structured. So if, for example, um, it's got a minimum deposit amount of £25 a month, it's something that will keep you paying £25 a month. So it's structured in terms of how you save if you're perhaps not um, as good like that. It might give you that little um, sort of push you need. Also, you can open multiple um, accounts of this type. So obviously you can benefit from a higher interest rate with different providers. You can open a couple of different types of um, regular savings accounts and put them in these accounts to really achieve um, some nice interest rates. Um, you do also have an idea of the end balance. So if you do stick to a certain monthly payment um, uh, to this savings account, then you'll have an idea. The downside is um, restrictions. Yeah, it has quite rigid restrictions. So they can uh, limit how much you, how much money you put away. So some have a maximum amount you can put away each month. They have a maximum amount of withdrawals you can take. They're quite strict with it. And if you don't meet what they need, so let's just say you deposit less than the minimum, you do risk a drop in the interest rate or even just closure of your account because you're not meeting what they ask of you. Also the interest rates, um, the headline rates that they offer you, they're usually only valid for a year or two years. So it is something that you'd have to look at switching. In first place, we have Halifax. So they offer a 5.5% interest rate. It's a one year um, sort of term on it. So after that year, obviously that's where it looks at changing um, with a 250 pound a month maximum contribution. So you can't deposit more than that. In second place, we have Nationwide. They offer a 5.25% interest rate over a two year term, but you can only deposit 50 pounds a month maximum. In third place, we've got um, Principality Building Society. They offer a 4.5% interest rate on a one year term um, where you can put in a maximum of 250 pound a month. Um, I believe with them all, um, there are penalties if you withdraw um, other than nationwide. Next type of account we're going to cover is a notice savings account. So as it kind of describes, a uh, notice savings account, you have to give notice when you um, intend on withdrawing the money. So it's good for when you know you'll need it. Upside being, you can't spend the money if it's locked in. So if you're not the best at handling savings, um, obviously it's locked in there. It also gives you an aspect of security because you know what money's in there, so you have an idea of what sort of interest it's gonna generate. Downside, um, you can't access the money if you need it. So if something was to come up, you won't be able to access it. Also, let's just say you have a bad experience with the bank, you can't switch provided, providers, it's locked in there. The only one we're going to cover is Synergy Bank. Um, so with Synergy Bank, they offer a 4.31% interest rate with a 120 day notice period. So that is the amount of notice, four months worth, that you're going to have to give if you want your money. It's a minimum balance of 500 pound up to a million. That would be very nice to have. Um, anyway, but they also offer one which offers a 4.26% interest rate um, with 95 days notice. So if you're looking at an emergency fund, let's say, this is not an account for you because obviously if you need it for an emergency, you won't be able to access it immediately. So the next type of account is a fixed term account. So these are um, simple, the money is locked in. There's no, there's no withdrawals, um, it's literally locked in, it's guaranteed, it's predictable, you know, 
you know how much money you're going to get at the end um, but again it's money that you can't touch so I've organized these into a table um, just because there is so many so as you can see you've got uh, all of your terms down the side so your six month your nine month your 12 month two year three year and five year again with these terms just make sure you're doing your um, your own research make sure again you know exactly how long you want your money locked in for um, and then um, yeah obviously <clears throat> in terms of your providers um, you've got all your providers. This is where I'd say, again, it's very specific to your own needs. So some people might not be comfortable using National Bank of Egypt as an example, because it's something that they're not as familiar with. It's not a bank they come across on a daily basis, um, but obviously they pay a good interest rate. Um, <clears throat> and there are some banks out there which do pay a little bit higher, or they might be happy taking a little bit of a cut in interest rate for a bank they're more comfortable with. Going over to the interest rate, again, it's something to um, research and consider. As an example, um, obviously with some of the bottom ones, you've got 5.35 and 5.15% interest, um, but your money's locked in for five years, where there are some where you can keep it locked away for um, one to two years, and you still get a similar sort of interest rate, but obviously you don't have that level of time commitment. So all of this is stuff to play into. I've tried when I've done this to accommodate to a range of minimum deposits. So if you do look at this as well, make sure you do a little bit of your own research just because um, there might be some that I've missed out there that are slightly better for you. But <clears throat> in terms of sort of all the terms, I've tried to include some with a little bit of a higher deposit and then some with a lower deposit as well. So there's some um, options there to accommodate everyone. So there you have it. I really hope I've given you some inspiration and some ideas and hopefully cleared things um, up a little bit. Main thing I'd say is to plan exactly for what you um, sort of need. Think about your future um, and what you need the money for because obviously if you want um, something to hold your emergency fund, a fixed term account is gonna do you no good. Likewise, if you know you wanna buy a house and you're gonna have to leave a deposit, let's say in a month or two, you'll know that notice accounts might not be right for you it's about picking engaging and thinking about your goals are you thinking any years time a few months time um, a few years time but it's about planning for um, exactly what your needs are little side point as well i do have an account with chip so let me know down in the comments if it's something that you might be interested in if i did a little bit of a review video but it'd be really great to hear from you um, thanks again for watching. I really appreciate um, every minute someone watches um, one of my videos. So I really hope you've made it to the end. Otherwise, if you could like and subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. And um, thanks so much again. Have a great day. Have a great um, weekend whenever you're watching this. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.